September 5th, 2012 marks one of the most significant days in the history of biochemistry, at least in my lifetime. This is the day that the ENCODE Project Consortium published about 40 research papers in journals like Nature, Science, Cell, the Journal of Biological Chemistry, Genome Research, and Genome Biology. This was a massive undertaking that involved 30 research labs from around the world consisting of about 440 scientists at the cost of $185 million performing about 1,650 experiments in order to identify the functional elements in DNA. And they determined, much to everyone's surprise, that about 80% of the human genome consists of functional DNA sequences. And this advance, literally overnight, changes the view that we have of the human genome. In 2001, when the human genome was sequenced, and that sequence was reported and, and analyzed, researchers discovered that only 1% of the human genome encoded for proteins, and they interpreted the remaining 99% as junk DNA, functionless garbage that represents the vestige of an evolutionary history. And of course, from an apologetic standpoint, the view would be how could a creator produce a human genome or a genome for any organism for that matter that constituted that much junk DNA. And so the view was the human genome provides unequivocal, compelling support for biological evolution and an evolutionary history for humanity. But with the ENCODE project results available now, we now know that the human genome is indeed an incredibly elegant designed system that is far more sophisticated than anyone could have ever imagined. The human genome is not a collection of junk DNA sequences, but instead is a fully functioning, elegant system that again is far beyond sophistication than what we could have imagined. And this represents, I believe, one of the most significant apologetic breakthroughs since I've been working as Vice President for Research and Apologetics at Reasons to Believe. This advance not only undermines evolution's best argument, it actually responds to one of the most significant challenges against the idea that human beings were created by an all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving creator. And this is something to be extremely excited about. If you want to know more about this particular discovery, I would invite you to listen to the September 6, 2012 edition of Science News Flash, where I go into details about this work.